All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can toggle visibility so you can add the same model or different models in the same scene without having to redo your whole environment. So this is a workflow I find is easy. There might be other ways to do it. Uh, I found this was the easiest. So um, here's a scene that uh, I brought in. I have a new environment. And what I've done in this scene is I have uh, changed the focus setting. And I have another video, I think, and I'll explain that more in detail. Uh, for now, I'm going to just click on it. Uh, the camera settings are using the 150 millimeter lens, so you can see it's a lot nicer. Um, just give me a sec here. Oh, click this, type visible or render, and under actor and in game, go to where you want it to start, and you see how this line shows up? Now move that little... Uh, keyframe right before it actually starts to play so you see the playhead uh, just use the you know the keys at the bottom if you're not sure uh, so we'll put it there and so right there it means it's invisible i'm going to move oops i hit the wrong button here um so i'm actually going to put that at the beginning i'm just going to drag it back there i had hit the wrong button here so I go to the end, and at the end, I'm going to make it invisible again. So as soon as my sequence is done, the character disappears from the scene, which is what I want. I don't want it to be visible unless I'm running the sequence. So I'm going to go to the beginning, click the back arrow, bring me all the way back so you get to see what it looks like. Press play, and it looks pretty good. Um, and that's what uh, we want to do basically with with that, it's really handy to get rid of the characters or add several characters in the same scene because maybe it took you a while to set up your environment and um, that's what you want to basically do. And see, it's gone. Right after you the sequence is done, really that is ideal. So you see if I'm moving around here, Exo Gray is in the environment, but he's not showing up in the scene, which is what I want. Because you need to have him added to the level for it to work, which he is, but he's just invis he's visible only in the sequences, which is perfect. And you could increase your workflow, several actors, and so on. 